Hey everyone, this is Jake, and today we are going to go over the September 1st patch notes, and there is many different details, rewards, events, and new content and such. So let's jump into the video and talk about what is coming with the September 1st patch. The first thing we have within this patch note is a countersized Global Steam launch. And to celebrate this launch, we'll be getting 1000 quartz coupon, so that is pretty nice. And event stage wise, we have a faithful summer vacation event stage, which is the countersized summer event. And this event will follow a bit after what happened throughout the Valentine's Day, I guess. And we'll see Dr. Lonely once again appear in the event story. And there will be three different acts for you to clear and collect these different materials. And you can use these to buy shops from the event shop items. And main rewards are such as employment contracts and adapt cores as well as the ship materials and some set binary as well. And we have more events to celebrate the 100th day. And there will be this event just clearing some event missions and you are able to get some quirks, set binary, fusion cores, adapt cores, blah blah blah. And there is going to be more. So that is pretty nice. And to celebrate 100th day again, there will be the special gift box. So if you run either supply operation event dungeon, you are able to get this flower. If you run mainstream free contract side mode event dungeon and such, you are able to get this balloon. You are able to craft this gift box. And when you open this, you are able to get these items as mentioned here. Some of that course, if you get lucky, you can get employment contract as well. So if you want to spend your Eternium, this is probably a time. Dive will be resetting as well. So there is chance for you to get more Eternium and such. So make sure to dump all your resources and such and try to create these box as much as you can. It will be a pretty good way to stack up your resources. And along with that, we are also getting a new beginning capital point event, which is an event from Korean server for two and a half anniversary. And mission points gaining should be pretty similar to that as well. In Korean server, you have to log in, you have to spend Eternium or some simulation tickets to get those mission points. And the task force plan will be also giving more Eternium as well as a lot of simulation tickets. So it'll be a good way to stack up your capital points from this event and new contents that's added throughout this patch. Then we also have a login events, login every day to get this rewards for 10 days. And we have daily quartz events, so login for 15 days and you are able to receive 150 quartz each day. And we have 100 free recruitment events in this event. You can roll up to 100 times for free. I think they should be giving you 10 pulls each day. And these are the SSR pulls that you are able to get from. And they are pretty nice. Then we have new SSR banner characters. First one we get is Mika Stars. She is really, really solid and a really good character to counter against the sleep units within PvP. But as of right now, yeah, she is something that you might want to skip, but there's that for Mika Starts. Short review, she is pretty cute character. Um, she moves pretty <laughs> funny. I actually really, really like her character design as well as her ultimate cutscenes. So everything about her is actually pretty cute and nice. Now we also get the Lonely, which is supporter soldier units. And she is able to add nice defense shreds to units and against soldier and corrupted objects should be doing the double the effect of it. So it is pretty nice units and since she is supporter class, she is really good in danger close because danger close a lot of times you'll be fighting corrupted object as well. And for being supporter units, you can trigger Gimhana pretty nicely. So Lonely is going to be pretty good units for danger close. Then for the operator banner, we have Chloe. She is pretty good for inhabitor if you want for auto comp. But honestly, you should not try to go for her right now. You can probably get the operator selection tickets that you are able to get from Task Force Flan. And you can try to get the Koei from the selection ticket they give out from there. And then we have new ship, which is a Blue Bridge. And this ship is OP for PvP as well as a PvE for certain contents and such. Only thing about this ship is that it's not really good against the raid bosses or guild bosses and such because the passive skill doesn't really loss and the ultimate skill doesn't really do that much damage against the bosses. It doesn't add any defense shred or any mechanics like that. So overall, it lacks kind of overall DPS, but the burst damage and the potential the ship has, with, especially with the PvP, with the, all the summoning is able to do, it is pretty crazy. Also having the ship, now you can run the tuning binary auto, no problem. So make sure to get the ship and all you have to do is clear mainstream episode four. You should be able to craft the ship with no problem. Then we also get the Shadow Palace four, 
which should be pretty hard. So there is that for that one. Then we also get the Rally Challenge, but uh, I noticed that say uh, we are only going to be getting Stage 1 for a while. So I would say save up your Eternium for a while, yeah, you should go and clear it once. And kind of build up your characters first. And once you have a good characters as well as more stages come out, that's when you go crazy and start spending your Eternium to grind out these materials and trying to upgrade your maze gears and such. I mean, if you're a whale anyways, I guess you'll run the stage 1 to grind out. But as of right now, I would say hold your Eterniums and try to do other events and such first. Then we have Task Force Plan system adding into the game. This is like a permanent reward system that you do certain missions and you are able to get the rewards. And basically this is like combined beginner event and other beginner events all in one with some additional rewards and such and some reward changes. So they give out a lot of rewards. So you want to make sure to do these missions. Then we have a salary negotiation kind of quality of life change, so it makes it much more simple. Then we have new side story left behind alone added to the side story sections. And lastly, we have some PvP stuffs. The strategy battle, first of all, the defeat notification will not go in the mail anymore. Biggest part is deployment cost recovery rate has been adjusted. So from 30% to 15%, so that's another half off. It should be pretty good for global server. I've been using Yuna comp only, and uh, I was able to hit challenger. So I'll probably share that comp soon. But uh, there is that for the stretch battle changes. And for rank match, there is going to be safety zone changes. So your units will be deployed a little bit at the front. And this applies for tower units and all other units as well. So this is going to be pushing rush comp a little bit more and be more aggressive instead of trying to camp. And the combat equation and stat changes. So basically some damage resistance stuff. So some units gets better than before and such. But global servers shouldn't have huge difference in my opinion because uh, there isn't that many units that can take a huge benefit from these changes but there is that for that change as well then lastly we have employment pool which adds Naya Blue Steel and Yang Xing to the standard pool as well so you should be able to get this character from off banner if you are lucky so there is that for patch notes a lot of things a lot of new contents as well as events and such along with the PC client launch and uh, we'll jump into shop product section as well. And uh, within the shop product, I looked at everything and I think new skins are pretty nice. They are coming with many different skins. Chiyu skin is really nice. Mina skin is very nice. And Yanshin, Karin, and the uh, Chushion skin is also really nice too. Lozaria, really, really nice. Pendragon, also nice. Adele, really, really nice. So like <laughs> all these swimsuit skins, I really, really, really enjoy. And uh, we are also getting some free packages daily, which is a PC platform launch gift package. And I think it should be lasting for like what, almost a month. And you are able to get this every day. So make sure to claim it to get some free Eterniums as well as this wishful random box. And uh, you are also going to be getting some very good value package. And for $5, you are able to get a three employment contract and some adapt cores and some admin coins. That sounds like a deal breaker to me. So <laughs> I will make sure to clear out this shelf 100%. This one seems to be pretty nice as well. Fusion cores. And uh, this one is more employment contracts. I think you should try to aim for employment contract only. I think those are the essential ones. And if you want to go for more whales, then you can probably purchase this. Uh, what is it called? The fusion core one as well. But those looks pretty nice. Oh, and this one looks pretty nice too. But there is that. And this is another free package that were 100 credits, but yeah, it's pretty much a free package. So you can buy each day. And what happens is when you open it, you have a chance to go higher level though. So you start from level one, you can get to level two. And when you open up the level two levels, you will go up to level three, level four. I think there's like up to level five. And if you get lucky, you are able to get to level five, open that to get the maximum rewards. Or maybe you get unlucky and you open up level two, then you get the reward and settle level three those and such. So this is just fun side events and see where your luck is happening. It. And then we also get some special package for 100 day celebrations, giving some quartz, which is pretty nice for 330 admin coins and fusion course as well. And we got ship package. And if you really want to upgrade your ship fast, this is the way to do it. So, but that is pretty much it for all the products. Uh, definitely Steam client launch, giving some nice rewards and many different skins for you to buy. So it's a huge shop updates, I guess. But anyways, that is pretty much it. I'm pretty much done. Uh, that was a lot of things to go through. 
But hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you guys tomorrow with the PC client launch and sh showing you guys how the Steam client really works and such. But yeah, this is Jake. I will see you guys next time. Take care.